Bonjour everyone and welcome to another French accessory showcase. You're probably wondering why we're standing in the Prime Market. It's because we are the only four people online in the French server. It is getting to the end of days now and they've got a free daily draw here I just realized. I'm gonna do a times one just for fun, just for you guys right now. See what I get. I got a red. I got the fucking, what the fuck is this? Is this the ignition chaser? I don't even think Rubix has this accessory. We could do an accessory showcase of that now, maybe. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to do an accessory showcase today of the Seraphic Cross. Yeah, that's the Ignition Chaser. Basu Cross is going to go get it. He's got an alt account where he's got the Ignition Chaser. But it doesn't matter. Stay. We're going to, we're going to do an accessory showcase of the Seraphic Cross Maniac. So let's do it now. Let's go on down and do it now. The Seraphic Cross is a gold ball accessory in the smaller drawers. I don't think it's in the mega drawer. And it's actually really OP. A lot of people like to use the aim hold X or something, we'll get to it in a minute, where you can just, you can look anywhere and you can hit anyone from anywhere on the map. Um, it might be the special in fact, and it has knockback too, but we'll get to it in a moment. First up is the weak combo attack. Whoa! So that wasn't the whole thing, I accidentally glitched for a second. So I think you go hit, 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 and then a last attack as well. But that last attack doesn't seem to be connecting. This happens a lot in the French server. That, okay. There's a non-held version of that, that last attack there, but it doesn't seem to be working like that. So there's three hits with the final attack being moving the staff forward, but you can hold down that last attack instead. Okay, that was the wrong attack. Well, holy shit. You can hold down the last attack. That one there. One, two, three. That. So there's more range and there's knockback as well with the, the held down version of the last weak attack. Like that. The strong combo. Two hits. So there's one forward and then a swipe to the side. Sends them to the ground but there's no knockback. But you can hold that down for a little bit more knockback. Like that. So just two hits there for the strong combo. The normal one like that. And the held version like that. Cool, all right, let's go on to the run attacks and stuff. I'll do these on super bows. I don't think there's a run. There's no run weak attack. There's no run strong attack. There are no run attacks with this accessory. Um, jump attacks though, no jump. Stop attacking over there. So there is a jump, a jump strong attack where you just throw a little ball in front of you like that, or you can hold it down for knockback. Oh, not really knockback. It just sort of like sends them onto the ground like that. But it's just throwing a little sphere like that. Attack Fably Peak. Well, we've done the run attacks. Have we done aim attacks? There's no aim attacks. Run and jump. It must be hold attacks now, I guess. Weak hold. So that's the one that we accidentally saw earlier, where I just like summon loads of staffs that go all the way along. Quite a lot of range there as well. If I can hit bows all the way from over there, only just with the last of the staffs pulling down. And the stronghold as well. Whoa, what's that? Oh, that's the first attack of the strong combo. The first attack of the strong combo can be held down to just hit the enemy repeated repeatedly. And then you can follow it up with the second attack as well. Like that. Pretty good. Stronghold, the normal stronghold, is a buff of some sort. What did that do? Do you guys know what that did? They are hold moves now. So that just falls in front of me, and it hits super bows there. I think it does healing. All right, let's do it on Neo. If I can hurt you guys for a second, we can see... Oh, and it can be destroyed as well, so it's sort of like a little... Let's get your HP down just a little bit. I got no idea what that does. If you guys know what the, the stronghold does where you summon this thing, let me know in the comments. It's a blessing of some sort, because he's still glowing green, so maybe you don't take edge damage, maybe you've got more defense. I don't know what it is. But don't use that attack on enemies, is all I can say. Unless... It has a different effect for teammates and enemies, but it can't tell. MP. Okay. Maniac says it's MP. I'll just I'll just have to take your word for it, mate. Now there's there's attack Fabli Peak and Forte Peak, so I don't know if that's a run attack, because it's not a run attack. It could be a jump attack, but there's no weak jump attack. 
Unless it's one of the types, you know there's some accessories where it says there's a weak jump attack and then it turns out to just be normal default and it's kind of stupid? It might be that. Right, well, it's on to the special attacks now with Neo Fox if you'd like to step forward in Silver Bowels or Super Bowels. The standing special. Oh, so that has to be held down. If I just press it once, I just jump backwards like that and nothing happens. But if I hold it down, I die forward. I think that was the super special there, actually. You dive straight down, straight forward towards the enemy. Boom. A big knockback as well, like that. Alright, and now I'll do the jump special attack. I think this might be the one that aims onto enemies wherever they are. Yes, it is. So people just spam this. They just run around because it automatically locks onto whoever's the nearest opponent. They're just like, wee, got you. Wee, got you. Wee, got you. And it's very hard to dodge as well. Like, if you, if you guys want to try and run and not get hit by it. I mean, Maniac was able to block it there. But, like, that's the super jump special. This, okay, so the super jump special, we may as well just show it now. It can hit more than one enemy in the area. It can, I, I can think it can hit two people, maybe three? One. Okay, you're all close to each other, so it only sent down one of the giant spears. But if I do it like this. One there. Why did it do two earlier? One, two, three, four. Oh, I can hold it down! I can hold it down and send down multiple. Fuck that! That's the super jump special. Can I do that with the normal special as well? Oh, I've got an inherit that gives me um voltage. That's why every time I keep pressing reset, it does that. Right, holding it down. Wait, wait, wait. Jump special. Holding it down. No, okay, so the jump special only sends down one, except for the super jump special where if you hold it down, multiple fall down. That is OP as shit. Fuck that. Did I do the run special earlier? Run special? No, I didn't. So you kick the enemy, you send them in a ball, loads of those, and uppercut at the end as well. Now, the super special attacks. The standing super special has to be held down in order to work. The big dive forward and big knock back. The jump super special we've already seen, but I'll do it again anyway, because fuck that. Look at that. No one can escape that if they're in the vicinity. They can't get away. And the run super special, kick into the sphere, loads of the, the staffs stabbing him, even more in fact, and an uppercut at the end, which could be pursued or something at the end. Cool, all right, well, that's this accessory. I think that the attack KO with the Seraphic Cross is when you die, you give your teammates a buff. So the reason why we couldn't see it in Dojo is because everyone is registered as an enemy. So the buff gives a gold glow, here we go. As soon as I disappear, buff. Above their heads, you just saw the Seraphic Cross symbol and they're both glowing gold now. It might have given them some HP, they said, previously when we tried it out. George, did George get it as well? So I think it gives you some HP and it might give you like strength or something. We have no idea, but at least we know. At least we know what it does now. Oh shit, here comes trouble. All right, let's leave guys. I'm uncertain if this attack heals MP or if it heals HP or gives you a buff or something. Maniac says it heals MP, but if, if we got that wrong, let us know in the comments. But yeah, now it's time for Laurie's review. Dang old maniac staring me down with his hoy face, with his hoy bear. Oh, anyway, this accessory, I think it's quite good. Some of the attacks are definitely very overpowered, with especially the jump special, which can lock onto enemies wherever they are. But I think the rest, oh, there's a siren. Oh shit, the cops. Oh no, it's the cops. They after me, boy. Oh, I think they're going. I think they've missed me. Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, um, what else do I think? I think all of the other attacks are fairly basic, actually. They're just like normal, like slashing the enemy and stuff like that. They've all got kind of like knockbacky potential, which is good. If you hold down a lot of the attacks, the jump, the standing special being this dive forward as well, but it has to be has to be held down in order to work. I don't know, it's a pretty good accessory, but like I thought it would be more overpowered than that. It's only overpowered in the sense that people are stupid and spam it special. And probably have like an MP in here of some sort. Like I don't even have to I only have to focus on anything. I can just jump and do that. And as long as you're fast enough you can jump out the run out the way like Super Bowl's there. But yeah. Hood George has called it George's cat. <laughs> We thought he was Demon Hood George, but he's just pussy-sounding George's cat. 
He doesn't even have a cap! Cap probably means hood in French. Thank you very much for watching this accessory showcase. Check out previous accessory showcases right here. Special shout out to Ripix, by the way. Ripix is the one who donated me his account on the French server because it's shutting down, he's gonna lose everything. But what a good way to commemorate his account by doing all these awesome showcases with accessories I'd never be able to do otherwise. So thanks very much, Ripix.